Hi guys, Matt here with Carolina Coops, and in this video, we're going to show you how to assemble your external egg hutches. So first, uh, let's go over the parts. There are four main walls for the egg hutch. There's also the floor, the high density floor, the backer board, and then the nest divider, and then of course the metal roofing that goes on top. Now this particular egg hutch is what we call our double gang, so there's just two nest boxes, but this video uh, also will work for the three gang. It's the same exact parts, it's just you're gonna have, it's gonna be a little bit longer with an additional egg box suction. So anyways, um, everything else is gonna be the same. Also with your kit will come the two and a half inch zinc coated pocket screws, and then also the appropriate roofing screws. And appropriate meaning if you ordered a custom color roofing, uh, you'll have the right color screw. So in this case, we're going to be using Galvalo. Uh, also, you do have the option of your egg hutch uh, coming natural, unpainted, or uh, having us paint it and then we assemble it. Uh, so it gives it a nice looking paint job. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you want to do is grab uh, your number two square head bit. Put that in your screw gun and then grab your back wall, stand that up like that. And in this case, we're going to start with the right wall of the egg hutch. And that's going to slide right onto the side like that. Let's come on in and get another close up, or get a close up of it. So again, here's the side of the back wall. Here's the corner of the side wall. I'm just going to slip that in that pocket. That's going to give you a nice fit just like that. And then what you can do is really just grab the other wall, do the same exact thing, just slide that on. And then what you want to focus on is just making sure everything's flush. So if you're sitting on a flat table, that should automatically happen. And then grab some screws. You're going to notice these pocket holes right here. That's where you're going to put the screws in. And it doesn't matter really where you start. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to start at the bottom. Again, making sure we're in tight and flush. And you don't need to get the screws real tight. You can turn the clutch down on your screw gun just to be on the safe side. Go ahead and put that one in. And then you can switch to the other side. Get these top holes here. those top screws are in, go ahead and set it down like that. And then there's going to be a hole at the bottom of each wall right there. I'll just take one screw. Same thing on the other side. And now you can grab your front wall. And be mindful, uh, here is a cleat that the floor is going to sit on, so you want the cleat pointed in. And that's going to slip on, just like that. And again, make sure you're flush. A couple of pocket screws, two pocket holes up top here. Two more screws, same thing over on this upper corner. And then just flip it over, you can face it down just like that, and get the two remaining holes down here at the bottom. And there are the four walls to the egg hutch. All right, now grab your high density polyethylene floors, or floor, and 
There is no front and back. You just want to make sure that this groove that the nest box divider sits into is facing up. So just go in at an angle like this. You're going to drop it right down on those cleats. And that should be a perfect fit just like that. And then there's what we call the nest backer board. That is this guy right here. And this one doesn't have an up or a down. However, just make sure that the groove is pointing in. And then just push that all the way to the back. And you should notice that the grooves line up. And then your nest divider wall this is your quarter inch material. I'm just going to slip that in just like that. And then the last part to the assembly of your egg hutch will be the metal roofing. Now you can go ahead and put the metal roof on now if you want. Uh, sometimes I find it easier if you are putting the egg hutch together along with one of our custom coops. Sometimes it's easier to go ahead and screw the egg hutch onto the side of the hen house, which you'll see in another video. Or if this is part of the shed conversion kit and you, you want to go ahead and assemble the roof on now, it's perfectly fine. The roofing will be pre-drilled. And actually what we want to do first, especially if you're doing this by yourself, switch over to the quarter inch nut drive bit. That's going to be used for driving your roofing screws. And what I like to do is uh, first make sure that the roof is pointed up in the right direction. The bottom of the roofing is just going to have a 90 degree cut and then the top is going to have a 22 and a half degree cut and that is what's going to allow it to sit flush up against the wall for the pitch so you get a nice tight seam. And then once you've got that going the right way, I like to flush it up here and actually start right in the middle. So I'll grab a roofing screw, which are these guys right here. They're self-piercing coarse thread and has a uh, rubber gasket with a metal washer behind it to help seal it up. Keeps it waterproof. And you don't need to get these really tight. You actually don't want to crush that down. You want it to just seat. If you get it too tight, you can kink it, which could cause water to come in. You're just going to want to lightly compress it. And that'll seal it up perfectly for you. So after you got the two middle ones in, then I like to work to the outside. So I put that one in, and I'll go back over here. Once those are in, pretty much repeat the same exact steps down here at the bottom. <clears throat> and the last screw. And that there is the assembly of your egg hutch. Again, this is a double gang. The triple gang or the three gang will be the same exact process. And there's the door to gain entry into the nest boxes. And another nice feature about our egg hutches is even after you assemble it and install it on your, your chicken coop or your shed conversion kit, uh, if you ever want to do a thorough cleaning, you can just actually just reach in, pull out all the high density, Give it a good clean. Did, uh, this high density also is USDA, FDA, and NSF food safe approved, just like in our custom coops. And you could run it through your dishwasher if you wanted to, not that uh, you would never need to, but it just kind of gives you an idea of how nice this material is and how nice it is that it pops out just like that. So, that's your egg hutch. Of course, if you have any questions, never hesitate to give us a call. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.